Alright, welcome back to Sonic Colors. Um, yeah. Here we are in Act 3, I believe, and we have our first instance of the Quick Step. It's kind of different than what it was in Unleash. You don't have a uh, separate button or buttons for the Quick Step. You just tilt the control stick really quickly to the left or right, depending on which way you want the Quick Step. Um, and as you see, we have the newest power up, the laser. I'm about firing my laser. Ugh. Um, basically what that does is just shoot you forward super quickly. And you can bounce off of walls with it, and you can also bounce off of crystals, which I'm about to do right now. Boing, boing, boing. Yep. Just basically makes you do really quick. And to get a good amount of x rays you're going to need to uh, use the wisp power as much as you can throughout the stages of collecting a number of rings, destroying enemies, and just anything else that would get you points. Because I have yet to, uh, I rank all the levels in this game. Um, I've gotten all the red rings and all of that, but I haven't S ranked everything yet. So, it's kind of hard to S rank. Yeah, it's kind of easy depending on certain levels and such. But yeah. Now this section of the game, you see a bunch of uh, flying enemies, I completely forget what they're called. But, if you destroy all of them, I smell smoke. You destroy all of them, and you get yourself a 1-up. Now with 1-ups, you don't really find them throughout the level as much as you did in like past games. Like even Unleashed had a lot of 1-ups throughout the level. Um, this doesn't have too many, can only think of like two instances. Ugh, that smoke is horrible. My dad's burning something, I guess. But, uh, anywho. Another thing with the, uh, laser whisk is this little thing sticking out of the ground just zips you through a line. It's, I guess, another instance of a crystal or whatever they're called. Just different looking. As you saw there, there was two gold rings. You know, it seems there's a lot of stages that have two gold rings. But, uh, yeah. I got... A rank, which you see, I got one one up for that, as well as the one inside the zero, I think it was. When you get an S rank, you actually get three one ups. So when you get an S rank, you can basically nab yourself four one ups if you can find the right number or whatever before the time gets done or whatever. Okay. Act four. see what stages okay yes um these guys are yeah they haven't really caused me too much trouble in this playthrough I don't believe but uh, they can be a problem indeed now some levels are really short like this one was but that's because you know I don't have like a certain wisp power up, so I couldn't really explore this level to collect all the five red wings. So, yeah, I was lucky. The first one was the one up. Amazing! And I know one of his poses is the brawl pose. I just don't know which one it is. Anyway, we have our next cutscene here. Um. That is, uh, well, Tails will explain that a little bit later. So I won't spoil it for now, even though I'm pretty sure everybody knows. And there's Sonic. And there goes the Wisp out of him. Something I haven't talked about in the last part was, uh, the new voice actors. Um, Amy Higgins, I think, does Tails. I think that's her name. And Roger Craig Smith does Sonic. Now, Amy Higgins, I'm not quite sure who does him, her, who, who she is, I think it's a she, but Roger Craig Smith, I know he did, uh, Chris Redfield in, I think it was Resident Evil 4, I think it was, I think it was the fourth one, but yeah, and of course you have Mike Pollock back as Eggman, he's really the only Fork as a voice actor who stayed, I think, I know Blaze kind of sounds the same, and kind of knuckles, but I don't think they're the same person. 
But yeah, I like the new voices. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I was a fan of the four kids and the uh, old cast too, so... I mean, really, it's just the voice actor. As long as they're not horribly bad with no... Like, feeling or emotion behind it, which... All Sonic voice actors have, except for <laughs> Rouge. At least the four kids Rouge actor. I didn't like her, but that was the only voice actor I had a problem with. Um... I like all the new voices, really, except for Amy. I'll probably get used to it eventually, but as of right now, it just seems too high. It seems too mini mouse ish. But that, that might just be me. I don't know. But yeah, um. Yes, you have balloons back. Recognize them. Now, the targets, I'm not really sure why the targets are here. I guess they're just for practice. But, uh, I think they do nappy points as well, so that's pretty cool. Because in here you have the whole bunch of the bouncing across the walls. Like that, just zigzagging and... Yeah, using the laser whisk I think is pretty fun. The laser whisk is kind of one of my favorites. I'm not sure what my favorite whisk is. It might be the laser one, actually. Or the drill, because the drill is kind of fun. My least favorite, well, you'll see that when I actually get to the world that I super really fail on. Hug, 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 hug. Anyway, that's it for uh, this act. It was pretty quick. Not too quick, but it was pretty quick. I believe we have the final act in this world next. I believe. I'm not, I think it's Act 6. There's six acts in uh, each world. So actually. Yeah, there's a lot of levels, even though some of them are short, as I've said before, but, yeah. Alright, now, Act 6, the Tropical Resort, is basically a platforming level, so that's kind of cool. And I collect all but one red ring, and I can't collect that last red ring because of, uh, I don't have a certain wisp power to get it. But I will show you how to get the other four. As you saw little buttons, I was like, I'm standing on there. Um, they threw out a bunch of levels, one in particular level, in the next world, which, the next world's my least favorite, but it's not the world I fail on, ironically. But yeah, um, they just basically stand on them and they move platforms around. Basically, it's just a waiting game for that. Unless you're quick enough and you can just wait a little bit and just jump. Because as... I don't know if you can tell, but Sonic has a double jump. The second, the double jump actually portion of it's not really double jumpish like brawl or something. It's just more an extra little height, but it helps. It helps a lot. There's some spaces where that double jump can just save you. Let's grab a one up and that. I believe that is his ball pose. I'm not entirely sure, at least one of them. No, it's not. No, I know there's one that is. And we have our next cutscene, our first cutscene, with Dr. Eggman. I'm not sure who does the voices of or about a Q-Bot, so if someone could let me know that, I can. I would be grateful. Because I can't look that up at the moment. Um. Idiot! <laughs> now this game has its humor. I mean, these two robots are humorous. I mean, not as good as uh, Scratch and Grounder and Coconuts, but they're better than Boku and Deku, I will admit that. Now, uh, as you'll see after Eggman stop finishing this line, he will break the fourth wall, like right now. Um, they do that a lot during this game. I mean, it's not overly fun, but they do do that. And it's not in, like, a corny way, like the Sonic Chronicles ending, or stuff like that, but I love that Sonic smacking his butt. It's a, yeah. The robot's like, huh? See, I don't get why that's so hard to get. 
I got that right away. Release the big boy. At least I know he won't screw it up. I know he won't screw it up. Hasta la baba, suckers. <laughs> and here is our first boss. Looks intimidating, doesn't it? It is. Until you actually try to face him. Hey. <laughs> there's a bug on me. Nah, I love that I jumped on top of him. Of course, he says something there, but there's no subtitles, which is really weird. There's a few points where he says something and there's no subtitles. I'm not quite sure why. Anywho, this is our first boss. Um, Rotatatron or something? I think that's what it's called. But, uh, basically, it's a three-hit boss, you know. But if you can manage to hit him with the wisp, which I completely failed at right there, the hitting him with the wisp power actually... Um, it's two hits instead of one by the homing attack. So basically, if you can get him once with the uh, wisp power and once with the homing attack, you're done. Other than that, three times with the homing attack and he's done. As you can see here, and they explode into tons of tons of rings. Just collect them all. The no, I say I did pretty good on that, but I still don't get an S rank. It stinks. We do get an A rank and we can nab ourselves another one up. As well as another one up in the. Let's see what numbers are going to be. One of the zeros. Ha! <laughs> the last one. Nice. And I don't get it. Darn. Anywho, that's actually it for Tropical Resort. Now we have another cutscene. This is. This cutscene is actually the very first cutscene that was leaked. Well, I don't know if it was leaked, but released, I should say. For the game. No. About the voice actors and all that stuff, people were all excited to hear them and everything, and yeah. Alright, so this cutscene you hear about exactly what is going on because Tails fixes little translator, which strangely seems like the device he had in um, Unleashed. I don't know if it's the exact same or not, but yeah. Yeah, oh, wow, almost said his name. Yes. It has translation errors, they do that throughout this game. Kinda corny, but kinda funny, some of them are. Yep, his name is Yakker. Lisps? No, whips, with a W. <laughs> There's another breaking the fourth wall moment. But, uh, yeah, that's Yakker. I guess you could count him as the chip of this game, although he's not really with you throughout the entirety of the game. Um, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes! Alright, so now we know what we gotta do. We gotta stop Dr. Eggman from hurting the wisps. Did we actually get this scene? Uh, oh boy, that's my yawning. We actually get this scene that's uh, from the robot's point of view, which I think is pretty cool. You might be like, why are they showing us then this? But this that scene actually has some importance to it, and you won't really see that until the very end of the game. But, uh, yeah. I guess it couldn't matter much. They're missing an arm. Uh oh. Of course, you'll find it right here. Again, this will come importance later on. Yeah, alright. Well, that's it for Tropical Resort. So, we'll meet you all next time on Sweet Mountain. My least favorite zone, I guess I should say, of this game. Until then, sayonara.